Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve Windows and Solar package issues you're getting. So if you're getting problems with Windows and Solar package, DLL required for the installer cannot be run. Errors are kind of like that and you're pretty obvious that it's a Windows and Solar package that's creating the issue. This tutorial will hopefully go about addressing it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time and you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T best man should come back with regedit you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes so once we're in the registrator here you want to expand the H key classes root folder so either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand that and now you want to go ahead and go down to get to MSI package. So I'm going to have to scroll down a little ways here. So right here, I'm going to expand that. So double click on MSI package or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand it. Now you want to expand the shell folder. So you double click or left click on a little arrow next to that to expand it as well. So now you want to go ahead, right click on shell here, and then left click on new key, call it run, so R-U-N-A-S, so again run as, except it's all one word, so R-U-N-A-S, then you want to hit enter to save it. Now on the right side, the new name should just say default in here, you just want to double click on it. For value data, you want to go ahead and set this to install, so capital I, N, S, T, A, L, L, so install, space, as, and then do the and sign, so the key that's right attached to the number 7 key on most people's keyboards, so the key on your keyboard that shares the spot with number 7, just hold down the shift and the 7 key to get that character in there if you're unfamiliar with it and then type in administrator so we get administrator after that and then you want to just left click on OK now you want to right click on the run as folder we created earlier right click on that left click new left click key now you want to name the key MSI E X E C space forward slash lowercase i so just a lowercase i I'm not asking you to spell out lowercase i so again, MSI, EXEC, space, forward, slash, I, space, and then you want to do those little quotation marks, so the two little dashes, except it's really one key. So it should be next to the enter key on your keyboard, so if you hold down the shift and that little end quotation sign, so the two little quotations, you want to do that, so it's the two little dashes, but it's really only one key. And then you want to do the percent sign, so again, shift, with the 5 key we will get you that percent sign here then type the number 1 and then do another in parenthesis so the two little lines again right next to the enter key on your keyboard you want to hold down the shift and that little key it looks like a little quotation sign to the two little whiskers I guess if you want to call it that so again it should be pretty straightforward here so just hit enter at this point so you want to name this folder command, so C-O-M-M-A-N-D, hit enter. And now on the default side on the right here, you want to double click on it, change value data, I'm going to have this in the description of the video, I want you to paste it in, this M-S-I-E-X-E-C, space forward slash lowercase i, so forth, and then left click on OK. So once you're done with that, like I said, I'll have this in the description of the video. Once you're done with that, we're just trying to run whatever program you're having the issue with before. And hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.